Howdy howdy folks. I just want to shout out these two answers to my super lame question last week. I think the best answer to any question is when you refuse to even see the question. I mean, they don't even recognize that a question was being asked. I don't see questions because I'm like so far above questions that they're like below me. <laughs> Blow me. <laughs> Did I mention that I am so high right now? Once you start to become a grown up, or your parents kick you out, or you decide that you want to start spending money on things that only you care about. Mom, this lightsaber's not a waste of money. Fine, one day I'll get a job and I'll buy it myself. Anyways, uh, like I was saying, if you're not careful, you'll start to become a grown-up. And then, the man is gonna make you get a job. And it's not gonna be one of those fake LA jobs where you assist someone famous and get to work from home. It's gonna be a real 9 to 5 type of slave worker job with bitchy ass coworkers. I'm sorry, did I say slave? Because I meant to say slave. So, as per the usual, I would like to give you my two cents on this lifestyle predicament. I give you the top three ways to deal with your bitchy ass coworkers. Number three, always say yes. No matter what your coworkers ask of you, say yes. Now, you might be saying to your computer screen, Raja, I wanna sock it to these people. How does saying yes to everything do that? God damn it, different shirt and hairstyle, Kaja. Can I finish a thought before you ask me a question that I would have answered had you let me finish? Well, it wouldn't have interrupted if I thought you had some- Are you listening or are you waiting to talk? Cause it feels like you're waiting to talk. Like I was saying, Always say yes. Because if you say yes, then you get to bug the shit out of them for as long as you're doing what they asked you to do. Hey, sorry, if you're on your way to the copy room, can you make me 35 copies of this worksheet for my students? Absolutely. And just right quick, did you want these collated? I just wanted to check in before I made these. Did you want these in color? And just before I pull the trigger on these, were you thinking stapled, hole punched? Both? Believe you me, I could do this for hours. Because if I don't like you, wasting your time is one of the best ways to spend mine. Say yes, and then have them walk you through the entire process step by step. Just to make sure you're doing it right. It will kill them, and they'll never ask you to do anything else ever again. Number two. Bring in fatty snacks all the time. Nine times out of ten, your coworkers are on some sort of diet. So what better way to subtly break them down than to have them test their willpower every day? Do you want one of these, Kaja? I couldn't possibly. I am kind of on a diet, more of a life. Well, that's too bad. I mean, my grandmother's a professional baker, but she's dying, so these are probably the last treats she's ever gonna make. Well, if there really, you know, won't be another time. Now all you need to do is make up a different relative every week that's a professional sweet maker and is somehow never going to make sweets ever again. Hey, I never said this was going to be easy. You just have to keep remembering all the bitchy ass stuff your coworkers have said to you. Wow, you look really tired today. I'm on the phone, so could you not be typing right now? I'm actually trying to type right now. Could you not use your phone right here? Happy hour time! Ooh, I only reserved a table for eight. You make nine, but... We'll catch you next time. Damn you bitchy co-workers! And number one, saving all your vacation days until you quit. Now, I have to admit, this number one is way more of a life goal than a one-two punch. I don't want to recommend this tactic to anyone who really isn't in this to win this. You really want to have to cause havoc and destruction. And you really have to want it to be awesome. All you have to do is save all of your vacation days until you quit. But before you actually quit, go on vacation. The day you're supposed to get back, quit. Like a boss bitch. Booyah! See y'all suckers later! Cause I'm a boss. Make sure y'all click the subscribe button and I'll see you next week. Real talk.